friends welcome back everyone welcome back i hope you enjoyed that duct tape from times gone by as we are now diving in to the grand finals of the sparkling tuna cup number 38 now here we go we're diving right on into game oh well, my god <laughs> spotting in the bottom right hand corner of oceanborn we have the indian zerg player the best player in all of india representing Macharino esports it is Demi <laughs> and sporting in the top left. They're good. They're good, they're good fans. They, they, they were bantering. <laughs> oh, oh my god. The gloves are coming off, Papi. Oh no. In the top left, we have his opponents. We have the English Zurich player representing the Platinum Heroes. It is Eva. Let's go. <laughs> They were bantering earlier. They were bantering earlier. Oh, oh no. Not like this. <laughs> it's, it, but India's insane. India's crazy. We, we were speaking. <laughs> we were speaking about this uh, the other day. How um, we we're talking about Age, Age of Empires four and how AOE four has servers in India and Demi. He has the power where he lives in the world uh in india he can actually ladder on korea ladder on na ladder on eu as well with decent ping it's crazy it's crazy <laughs> the world is, it's bro it's broken papi it's crazy him papi Imba. india is the place to be uh in the world of esports when you're laddering and playing against players against all around the world decent ping any region crazy Oh, oh, is he gonna flex? Oh, no, not quite, not quite. <laughs> uh, as for now, we're getting into our opener so far. Um, De wait, what just happened? Demi took the unnatural natural. I was just, I was just uh, assuming what was going on. Um, yeah, it's a hatch gas pool here. Uh, Eva did not like. There was no pro block or anything like that. I'm very curious as to what the hell's going on. This is this is wild. Eba comes in for a scout. He's going to see the lack of expansion. Going to assume a one base all in. But really, it's an unnatural natural. Like, there's no reason for Eba to believe that, that there's a hatchery here. He eventually will check. There we go, spines. Spine calls are thrown down. We cancel. The creep is revealed. Eba overreacting for a moment, making a wave of lings. Oh, he did fall for the bait. I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all as Demi is now going straight for a third base. Getting into a very economic situation. As a reminder, Demi, he's leading the series 1-0. to zero. I forgot to throw this down. Predictions are open. I believe they're closed by the time you hear this message. Oh. Predictions. So do post in the chat. But uh, yes, yeah, some good mind games. Good mind games here out of Demi. Eba forced to produce and then cancel a couple of buildings, lost mining time, made extra lings, and now he is going to be moving out. Trying to see what he can get done. Now, Demi is split between the bases. He is split between them. Eba going to be slipping into the main as well. There we go. 14 more links in production. Bailing. Ness is about to finish up. Eba about to be hyper aggressive here with Ling Bane. Demi is going to have a hard time keeping up here, protecting both his main and his natural. We'll see if he can. As he does, he does come across some links. Does shut them down. Here we go. Eba just going to be sending it across the map. Everything that he has. Bailings are on the way for them. They do morph in. And they're waddling in from behind. Oh, Demi getting out of position. Taking a bailing to the face. But he has his own bailings waddling in as well. They're going to be forcing Eba back. For the moment, for the time being. He can't waste them. Oh, oh my god. As Demi does overextend for a moment there, it doesn't quite detonate. I muted because I see he's got a massive connection there with Lings. They go down, and Demi's in a lot of trouble. Demi racing across the map. Eva's chasing, and Bailey's going to be waddling on in. Good splits here out of Eva. So far, good control. Yeah, we're down to two Bailings. Meanwhile, Demi gets cleaned up across the map. He does manage to get a. Uh, oh my god, he snuck a couple of Lings in. I don't know how. Queen does fall. 
do you see Demi trying to trade here with the banings of his opponents? But Evil, I don't think he's ready in his vein. I don't think he's ready for this. The Bailey's are going to be one thing on in. The Bailey's go down. Evil's going to get cleaned up. But now Demi, can, yeah, he can focus in the main base of his opponents. Diving on in. The Bailey's, they crash on forward. Uh, not the best connections. But five workers go down. Uh, meanwhile, Eva does bust into the main. He may have lost five workers, but he's going to get so much more. Getting sick. Uh, a little bit more. Gets six workers. Takes down the queen as well. Demi, though, yeah. Now falling behind. Oh. <laughs> Demi has fallen behind, and now he has to rush across the map. He's down to 21 workers compared to the 27 of Eva. Bailings are on the way in the main base. Oh, the bait! Oh my god. Is Demi, is he looking? He's not looking! Not paying attention. Another five workers go down. Demi, his economy is crippled. At this point, he is completely all in. Ah, but Eva, he is more than ready for this. Four more bailings waddling in from the flank. We trade two for two. I don't, <laughs> they don't quite trade here either. Bailings, they go down. Demi running out of steam. He's down 14 drones. There was a strong moment this game for Demi, but not anymore. Roach is now in production for Eva. Demi's keeping up, but oh no! <laughs> Massive connection. Eva, he, uh, sorry, Demi takes one to the face. Not like this. And GG gets called, and Eva will tie the series one to one. We have a series. We have a back and forth. GG. GG, well played. Oh my god. That was a, yeah, a wild start to the game where Demi did take the unnatural natural, trying to fake out his opponents, was eventually scouted, and Eva was able to confirm what was going on. And uh, with that, Eva able to just ramp up the aggression, was able to out-control Demi in the Ling Bain Wars. Demi had his moments, don't get me wrong, but uh, the Bailings in the main base of, of Eva, they were a little bit lackluster, only killing five workers. I feel like there was potential for maybe even more damage there, um, but Demi was cleaned up, and yeah, Eva able to just snowball out of control. GG, well played. And with that, we're getting ready for game number two. Now, again, because Demi came from the upper bracket, he's already up 1-0. Or he started the series with a 1-0 lead, which is why we are tied up. And, yeah, this can still go either direction. That's the five. Plenty of games to come. At least two more. At least. Hopefully more than that. Hopefully. So, we're getting into game number two. Going to be on site Delta. And spawning in the top left hand corner of Site Delta, we have the Indian Zerg player representing Machirino Esports. It is Demi. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> Going for a 12 pool. And spawning in the bottom right, we have his opponent. We have the English Zerg player representing the Phantom Heroes, tying up the series one to one, getting 12 pooled. It is Eva. Here we go, and the question becomes, how committed are we going to be with this 12 pool, as we are going to be getting a couple of extra drones in the mix. Now, you can go for a 12 pool drone pool, or just go for a 12 pool opener into an expansion back at home, a little bit less committed. We have options. We do have options available here for Demi, as Eba is going for a hatch gas pool, standard economic opener out of Eba. Again, far more aggressive from Demi. Uh, he's pulling the boys. Uh, we should have seen a natural base by this point, and we have not thrown one down. So, oh, no, never mind. Okay, we are expanding. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this expansion is going to be a little bit late because the drone arrives a little bit late as well. But it looks like we will be expanding in the end and throwing down that natural. 
Okay, so it's just a 12 full opener. The way that this works is that Demi, he's going to be looking for some drone damage. He's looking to kill some workers here at the natural, deny mining time, and get ahead economically. Now, the downside here is that there's no gas. No gas for Demi. It's going to be very delayed. As a result, Demi is going to be getting into two ace play, which makes a lot of sense on this map. Psy Delta is one of the few maps in this map pool that has a ramp coming into the natural. So having that as an added defensive bonus here makes sense if you want to be playing two base. Links have arrived. They get some damage done. Boys are being pulled. Eva cannot lose this natural base. Which is why Demi is looking for drone kills. So far, the drone drilling really not looking too bad. We get a couple of hits in on the lings. We haven't lost anything yet. Eva pres oh god, preserving his uh, trying to preserve his drones, but he loses one. He does lose one worker, and he has to be very careful not to lose any more. And good drone drilling overall, and Demi is going to be forced back. Up, oh. is going to be forced back for a moment. Yeah, we have plenty of links here. This is not the fight that, Eva, that Demi can take. Eva, yeah, snibbling out of control. He cleans up whatever he can, and Demi's forced back. He's down one worker. Uh, we're getting even here as Eva throws down the spine crawler, being very safe. Very paranoid. Very paranoid here, but he is going to be safe and sound with that spine. Eva going for a counterattack. Demi, though, in position with his queens. Again, still no gases. He should be walling off and just droning. Now, again, the downside for what Demi is doing is that he is going to be contained to two bases. He will have a really hard time expanding and taking a third anytime soon, which is why Eva should be taking advantage of this situation and taking his own third base. Sling speed is on the way. Drones are in production as well. And we're settling into the mid-game. The wall for Demi is commencing. And the third for Eva is on the way. So Eva's going to have a better economy. Demi is going to have a higher tech army in a way. Because Demi is skipping link speed. Because we opened up 12 full, which is like a gasless opener, essentially. So we're skipping link speed, going straight into roaches. We could technically try and go to base Spire. That is also possible. Uh, but there's no fast layer. And uh, we aren't taking additional gases. So again, should just be two base roach. Now, Demi, he can either go into a two base all in from here. Or he can just make enough roaches to take a third and get into a longer game. And just skip the Ling main portion and get into roach v roach. Speaking of Eva, getting his own Roach Warren, heavily droning, taking his own gases. And, oh, Demi starts up Link Speed. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Link Speed is on the way. This is huge. Demi's going for a Link Flood. So, basically, he's faking Roaches. He's faking two base Roach when really he's going into a lair, massing Lings. And with this lair, he could even try to go into Mutas as well. Um, Carapace is on the way curious what this layer is going to be for it could just be roach speed but we are just amassing nothing but lings and eva because he knows it should be two base roach eva doesn't have a bailing nest which makes sense you want to be cutting bailings going straight into roaches overlord is zoned away and we are just banking up links for the flood and here we go link speed is kicking in and demi sending everything across the map he has been spotted Demi, he's up in links, and Eva has to race back home here. He has a couple of roaches coming out. He should be able to defend. He should be okay. Yeah, Demi, he was trying to catch Eva being too greedy, but Eva has plenty of army supply. And this is hurting Demi now. This is actually really dire for Demi. He's, he invested so much into these links, and they haven't done anything. Eva's keeping up. Going for his own counterattack. Roach speed is on the way. Demi now getting into a 1 1 Roach timing. But this third base may be cancelled as Demi has to come back home. So Eva's got a better economy. Working on his upgrades. Lings a dive on top of this. Demi's in position. Gonna be able to hold on to his third. The third base is saved. And we are getting into Roach v Roach. 
At least Demi preserved his links. He did save them. Did save his links, but alas. It's not really about the links, not anymore. Eva is destroying, so is Demi. Eva has had better saturation for longer. Um, Eva is going to be slightly behind in upgrades. Plus, oh, sorry, 1-1 one, one is going to be done faster for Demi. So that is an advantage that he has. There's a timing that he has available. Not the strongest one, though. As Demi does catch a couple of links. Not bad. A couple of links will go down. Likewise, Eva just building up his roach count. Demi, are we cutting workers? We have five more over. Hey, oh my, eight? Hey, eight more overlords on the way. And I don't think Demi intends on saturating this third base. Yeah, we're making nothing but roaches. But so is Eva. And Eva has the better economy. He's at 54 workers, sending everything across the map. And Demi is trying to catch up. Making roaches. Looking at the Unisab here. Demi, we're even in roaches. Demi ahead in upgrades. We're diving on this. And Demi take a fight. The links are reinforcing Biles. Yeah, forcing Micro out of Demi as well. Uh, the Biles of Demi not quite connecting either. With reinforcements, I believe Demi should be able to barely hold on, but... Yeah, there we go. The concave is too good, and Eva has to back off. Demi holds. Demi does barely hold on. And he had the slightly better upgrades. Demi, he's droning behind this. Making another nine workers. And likewise, so is Eva. The game is going to be calming down. <laughs> We're going to be calming things down from here. Eva going straight for the Spire. Demi going for plus two. Ooh, Eva going to be in the driver's seat here. Rushing into those meters. Meanwhile, Demi going for Overlord Speed. That's a bit of a tell. Dropper Lords are going to be online soon for Demi. Dropper Lords, they could change everything. They could change it all. Both players are just saturating their third bases. Getting it all up and running. Eva is going to be pushing, but I'm pretty sure he's just posturing. Like, he's still building up his bank, his gas, his minerals, spires on the way. He's revealing his army to these roaches, and he's forcing Demi to make roaches as well. He's forcing a reaction out of Demi. Eva. Again, he doesn't really intend on committing. He's just clearing up creep. Eva is not pushing in anytime soon. He's waiting for the spire, waiting for mutants. So again, just a really good fake out out of Eva. He was just puffing up his chest. He was just faking out his opponent and Demi fell for it. And now Demi is about to max out. And sure, he can push with Roach Ravager, but he can't shoot up. Biles are all that he really has. And these mutas are going to force an all-in or they're going to force an attack out of our Zerg player. Out of Demi. And there it is. Demi is pushing. Mutas have been revealed. Can Eva hold on? Can he keep up as the Overseer gets a full scout of the natural, soon to be the main as well? Muta's going to be chasing it down, and here we go, Demi pushing forward. Burrow, tunneling claws, Hydrogen on the way. We're diving on the army. Good dodges out of Eva. And you can see the mutas, they just go ham on the army. Demi has to pull back and he's bleeding out so much. Oof. Overlords, overlords are going down. Demi just relinquishing map control. Uh, Eva, he can't like dive into mineral lines and kill workers. Not yet. The muta count isn't quite high enough for that. Bailing nests on the way. Oh my. 
Okay, Eva, it looks like he wants to transition out of Roaches and straight into Mutaling, Mutaling Bane. Interesting, yeah, plus one melee is on the way. The era of the Roaches has come and gone. Eva going to be checking the fourth base. Spore getting left on the Hydras do come out just in time. They take down one of the Mutas. One Muta does go down. Demi working towards a Lurker Den as well. So Hydra Lurker Viper on the way for Demi. Oh my god. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Tunneling Claw Roaches have been spotted. Eva going for his own Roach counterattack. 25 Bailings on the That's a lot of Bailings. A lot of bailings here for Eva. So the way this works is that the bailings ideally want to get on top of the hydras. They want to try to get walk past those roaches, get on top of the hydras. And with the death of those hydras, that's gonna be the death of the anti-air. Lurker then just now finishing. No lurkers. Demi's maxed. Three infestors are in production, but they're not out yet. We are diving on this army. The Bailings are rolling in. Again, they're trying to go straight for the Hydras. They will get on top of some of them. The Hydras are going down. And the Roach Ravager army just collapses here on Demi. Demi losing far too much ground. At the same time, he does counterattack. He's going to get a couple of workers. The Mutas, they're, rushing, they're racing back home. But Eva's ground army is breaking through. He takes down the army, gets into the third base. Both players are losing workers, but Eva has a standing army. The Infestor, no. We get a fungal. We get two fungals. Was it worth it? I it should be. That's 15 workers going down. The economy of Demi uh, in the gutter. Not like this. As Demi's being forced back here, come the reinforcements. At the same time, Demi is going for some borrowed Roach Harass, uh, which could do a lot of damage. The token swarm host. No, get out of here. You don't die, no. <laughs> Does get a Locust Wave out. But Demi, he has lost almost everything here. We have a couple of Hydras and Roaches in production. But there's just too much momentum going Eba's way. Too much for the boozer. GG gets called, and Eva will take a 2 1 lead in this series on match point. GG. Whew. Again, Eva doing a great job at just taking up, hiding, of course, his muta transition, his muta switch, giving him just so much control throughout that game. Able to get into that Roach Ravager, a counterattack as well. And uh, yeah, those mutas, they just gave him so much breathing room, so much freedom in this series. Demi just could not keep up. Again, the scout was a little bit late there. And uh, he was already maxed out at the time. Just a little bit too late to get into those hydras. Into the, um, no lurkers at all either, unfortunately. Demi, he was working on that kind of late game army composition. Couldn't quite get there. And with that, Iba, he only needs one more. Uno mas to take it all to become this week's Sparkling Tuna Cup champion. Demi needs to win this game to force the ace match. Now, as a reminder, there was a lot that came into this game. Initially, Demi went for a Ling Flood. Didn't work. Uh, so he had a really hard, he had a much harder time getting into the mid game. Much more harder than Eva, for example. Uh, there was that push where Eva did overextend, but it was okay. He was just you know, giving himself some breathing room for the eventual Mutas. And the Mutas, they did so much just forcing Demi back, forcing a, a reaction, of course, a tech switch. GG. GG, well played. And here we go. Potentially the final game. And the pressure is on. The pressure is on Demi to fight back. Let's go. As our next game is on, Golden Aura. And spawning in the top left hand corner, we have our Indian Zerg player, the Red Zerg, representing Matrino Esports. Down in the series, but not out. It is Demi. Spawning in the bottom right hand corner, we have his opponent going for a 12. Let's go, going for a 12 pool representing the Platinum Heroes. It is Eva. 
Let's go. The 12 fool is upon us. Now, the last time we saw a 12 pool out of Eva, it was a 12 pool drone pool. This time, oh, drone is moving out. Where are we? We're going for the gold? Where are we going? Oh, we're going across the map. Oh, I see. <laughs> Wait, is this a 12 pool proxy hatch? No shot. In ZVZ? Uh, we've seen 12 pool drone pools today. We've seen just 12 pool into a macro opener. 12 pool proxy hatch is typically reserved for versus Protoss, but we're doing this against Zerg, which is not something that I'm too familiar with. But, uh, okay. Uh, all right. Show us what you got. <laughs> so, with this proxy hatchery, we can reinforce that much faster to keep the pressure up. We could even try to spread creepy. Oh, okay. I see. It is an extractor trick. This makes a lot more sense. It's been a while. Been a while. We are going for that spine crawler. So the way this works, you throw down the hatchery, you cancel the hatchery, and it leaves a patch of creep. And if you're fast enough, you can actually throw down a building, like an Eva chamber or a spine crawler. So it's going to be a spine rush here from Eva. The goal here, to kill the natural, to kill workers as well. Eva is expanding behind this. He's not all in, but he's looking to get ahead. As Eva is droning, Ling's going to be on top of that hatchery. Boys are being pulled. That spine crawler is on the way. We don't want to get surrounded. Uh, as Demi does end up sacking his workers here at the third base, but the spine crawler is on the way. Demi, he has to respond. He has to react. He has to dive on this spine. He cannot let it finish, but one drone is going to go down. Two workers even. Lings are on the way, but the spine finishes. Not like this. The spine crawler is done, and drones are going to be going down. A big pickoffs for workers, and we take control of the natural. And Demi's in a dire position. The queen comes out, but the spine crawler is within range, and the queen will fall. With control out of Eba. Pulling back. This is going to be dealt with. But Eba, he takes an economic lead, has a gas geyser on the way. Not quite as fast as. Demi here as Demi can get into link speed and we're in a really interesting position <laughs> we are in an interesting position here now Eva traded well he did trade well but he's behind when it comes to gas mining that's because of the 12 full um is actually one worker behind in drones as well again he was hoping for more damage he was hoping to get more done So Demi going to be threatening a dive into the main base. And they get a scout, but not much else. They do get eyes on the gas geyser at least. And here we go from here. Again, Eva just going to be throwing down his own spine crawler, taking his gases as well. Oh, going for an extractor trick? Never mind. Just breaking free from the supply block. And we are settling into this. Now, with this fast layer, we can go in a couple of different directions. If we take additional gases, we can go to base Spire. Uh, if we don't take additional gases, we can just throw down the Roach one and go to base Roach, which should be what we work on next. Eva, sorry, Demi likewise getting into his own layer timing. Slightly slower than that of Eva's. And we'll see what kind of direction we want to go in. Okay, this time the gases are being taken for real. Plus one range is on the way, so it is going to be roaches from Eva. We're not playing around with any kind of crazy muta play. Not this time. And Demi shouldn't be too far behind. Um, he's just taking all of his gases. He's droning. Saturating everything he can. The game will settle from here. Now, link speed is going to be an interesting one. Uh, interesting one, of course. Eva doesn't have link speed. Demi could try to link flood again, and he does cancel. Oh my god, uh, Demi! Are we going to base spire? I was. We were theorizing that maybe Eva would go to base spire, but no, it's going to be Demi instead. This is crazy. Um, 
this is almost illegal. Like, I, okay, so there's a lot happening. Um, one, he knows that Eva's playing two base. Roach speed is on the way, plus on range as well. Eva should hit first. The spire just now started. This is just really risky, really greedy out of Demi. Now a third base is on the way. Link speed is done, but he canceled the Roach Warren, so we won't have any. And now the Roach Warren's on the way, but we won't have any defensive Roaches in time of this attack. The wall is being thrown down. And Eva's going to be pushing. Queens are coming, Roaches as well. Demi's in a lot of trouble. We need spines. We need a wall of spine crawlers. And we just don't have the money for it. And here we go, Eva. Going to be sending everything he has across the map, including the Queens. We have one to inject each base, but everything else, it's coming. And no spines, only lings! Ay, ay, ay. I mean, Demi is going to have access to roaches at least once the... Nope, never mind. We do get a cancel. We do get a surround even! First roach is surrounded. Bit of an overextension out of Eva. At the same time, Demi going for a big counterattack. Eva, he doesn't take the bait. He doesn't turn around. We have a full wall of back at home. Yeah, Demi trying to buy time. Seven, nine. Oh, God. Nine meters are on the way. The surround comes in. We get the queen. Queen does go down. Demi, he is busting into the natural base. Sorry, Eva is busting into the natural base. Files going to be standing. Oh, my God. They almost take down the overlords. Good positioning out of Eva. Taking down a lot of legs. They get into the mineral line as well. Uh, the legs will be cleaned up, but these mutas are getting so much done. Yeah, the Roach Army of Eba will fall. He has seven workers in total. Eba does take a worker lead. But back at home, Hydrogen's on the way. Just now finished. It's going to take a while for Eba to really have much anti air. Demi has map control. He made it. He lived. He survived. He's got 12 mutas. And he's going to shut down every single one of these overlords. It's three overlords going down. We should be able to get a fourth as well. Eva getting supply blocked. Working towards Roach. Oh, Tunneling Claw Roaches. Which has been spotted. Demi rotating into the main. Uh, being zoned away. Doubling down on roaches. We have a plus one air attack. Eba now working towards the infestation bit for infestors or even vipers for hive. Um, it's still a ways away though, and, and I and I have to give the edge to Demi. I have to give the edge to him. Up in bases, up in workers. There's a lot of potential with these mutas as well. And they're gonna get two drones before us. Before Muta does go down. Again, every worker counts. Can you even find a changeling? Hydras are in position. Demi will have to respect it. And remember, Tiling Claws is done. Burrow is still on the way. Unfortunately, it looks like Barrow was forgotten a little bit. There it is. Lurker, Lurker Den. I almost said Lurker Cavern. <laughs> Essentially, Eva's turtling. Eva, he's stuck at home. He shouldn't be pushing anytime soon, especially with Lurkers on the way, with the Invasion Mid, with Hive, Vipers, so much tech. Eva is just stuck turtling. And Demi, with the map control, he's free to expand. He's free to just run away with this economically. But also, Demi should be teching as well. So... Typically, once you get map control with these mutas, you want to be working on Hydro Lurker Viper yourself. Demi isn't, which means the quality of the army for Eva is getting better and better. Um, Demi's on a timer. He's on a timer. He needs to kill and cripple Eva sooner rather than later. Because otherwise, if he waits too long, Eva will have Hydro Lurker Viper, which is just a superior army composition to what Demi has. Here we go, Demi. He dives into the main. Gets a gas geyser. The bungle! Oh, big bungle on the army, but only a single bungle, and most mutas will escape. As Eva's going for a counterattack. 
Yeah, and a lot of pressure is still on Eva. Ah, there is detection. Roaches are going to get a couple of drones. They're going to get one, maybe two. Yeah, two workers. That's... It's something. It is something. That is investors. Workers on the way. More Tulling Claw Roaches coming in from behind. Demi up to 80 workers. He's running away with this. With an insane economy. Things they come in for a surround. The Roaches, good target firing here. They get six more drones. But Demi, he reciprocates that damage by getting a gas geyser. Demi working on his own hive. This should be for vipers. Or even we could just go ultras. That's the yeah, that's the other logical uh tech path here for Demi. Is Ling Bane Muta into Ultras. Just to make use of all these melee upgrades. Until then, Eva still just stuck at home. He's just stuck at home until he maxes. Hive about to finish up. Once we get the Hive, we can get Vipers. And once we get Vipers, then Eva can be active. It'll, all it takes is, like, two good Parasitic Bombs, and these Muters will all die. They will not make it alive. Eva getting a fourth. Trying to keep up with the meters. There's that ultra cabin that we were talking about. The meters get a cancel. Do get a cancel on that hatchery. Eva still stuck at home. That's a decent army. There are the first couple of vipers on the way. Now I am concerned. Um, ultras, well upgraded ultras, they can just have their way with these hydras. But I'm curious how we approach this. For now, the Vipers are gathering up energy. Um, with the arrival of these Vipers, these Mutas, they shouldn't be too... They shouldn't be long for this world. Uh, they shouldn't be too prevalent anymore. Just because Power Bombs just completely shut Mutas down. But as we get out of Mutas, we should be getting into Ultras. But Ultras and Vipers as well. From Demi. Till then, Lurkers are getting in Platish. Demi making five Ultras at a time. Nidus Worm is on the way to reinforce and get across the map. Demi still with an insane economy, just mass expanding all over the map. And here we go. Here comes the first push. We spoke about the Vipers. We have three of them full of energy. And with the good planning clouds or even abductions, yoinks. Demi, he can't break this position. A lot of overseers. Nice into the main is going to be spotted. Has been seen here by Eva. Tries to rotate into the main base. Mutas are going down at the same time. Here come the Ultras. Decent blinding clouds. Oh my god, the Spore is going to be zoning those, those Vipers away. The Ultras get cleaned up. So did the Mutas. Oh, the Bailings, no! Oh my god, if it wasn't for the Bailings, nine drones go down! <laughs> Eba, he was defending well for the most part. He did clean up so many of those meters. Have a look. 15 meters did go down. There are six meters left, barely, in the main base, outside the main. Vipers escape. That's a lot of Vipers. Oh my god. Seven Vipers here for Demi. He's just doubling down here on Mass Ultra. Meanwhile, Eba should be doubling down on Mass Lurker. Sim City's on the way. Yeah, Eba, he's just turtling up and maxing out. 
And because Eva has a lower worker count, he will have a super maxed army as well. If he stays on the lower worker count. But this is still anyone's game. Like, that's a lot of Vipers. Don't get me wrong. That's a lot of Vipers. Nidus into the main. Eva's in position. The rest of the hydras are rotating over as well. Sammy trying to take the gold. Oh my god. How many lurkers do we have? 21. 20. How do we push into 20? We don't. We, we can't push into 21 lurkers. Not like this. Even with blinding clouds. Um, I mean, if we blinding cloud everything, then maybe. That is seven vipers. It's possible. It's possible. Remember, we can still abduct. Vipers are going to be shocking around. We get nervous here. As something. But Demi out positions his opponent. He's going to be able to dive on top of this fresh mining base. Hatchery is cancelled. Vipers are on the way. God, but look at how many, like, we just can't push in. It's just not happening. 28 lurkers. Now, it, it's, it is still seven vipers, so technically we could blinding cloud every single lurker. If they all bunch up, then it's it's possible, and we're going for it. Oh, my God. We can't push into a choke point, though. Not against all these lunkers. And here we go. Eba's maxed out. He's pushing. He is super maxed. Only at 65 workers. 64, even. Here come the vipers. So far, massive bungles on the army. Blinding clouds as well, but the lurkers are repositioning. The blinding clouds once again. But it looks like it's too much lurkers. They just go ham on this army. They are the superior anti-ground force. And Demi backs off. He survives with two ultras remaining. This was not the fight to take. Ay ay ay. The lurkers, they just went to town. And this may just be it because we are camping the production. Demi's remaxing, but he needs time. He needs time to consolidate his army. Seven more ultras on the way, and Eba, he takes down a hatchery. He is looking to take down the natural. He's making his way towards that natural base. We do see Demi trying to go for a, oh no, trying to set up a surround. Surround is upon us so far. A good spread. Do we have any vipers left? We do. We have a couple of vipers remaining. That's a lot of investors. Here we go, Demi collapsing on this army from multiple angles. Good blinding clouds. And Demi, he's breaking through. He's barely breaking through. The ultras are so beefy. Good abductions. Decent blinding... Sorry, decent power bombs. Power bombs? Bungle growths, even. But three ultras barely make it through. And Eba, he lost everything. He initially had a really good trade back at home, but this was an overextension he needed more time he needed more lurkers and now demi ah, going for a big counter attack yeah the lurker count just was not quite barely not quite there for eva but this is still so close the ultras they're so expensive two of them go down Two of the ultras do go down. This Ling run by here gets two of the lurkers. Uh, doesn't quite get two. So sorry, doesn't quite get the third. Two lurkers nonetheless. Here, Jimmy, you're gonna be threatening a push. Five more ultras on the way. The Vipers are still alive. These Vipers have been the MVPs. Like, they're constant blinding clouds. The constant spells here from the Vipers. Uh, without them, we're pushing in into a concave. Oh, this is not a good trade. One, two. Almost three Ultras. An expensive loss there for Demi. But Demi's up 40 supply. at 
the same time. Uh, we have a bit of harassment here, trying the gold. This is the other big thing. Demi, he's max expanding. He's taking every other base on the entire map. Just snowballing out of control of the economy. He may have taken some rough trades, but Demi, he's remaxing, and Eva is not. That is what matters. Is all that matters here as Demi is still maxed. Eba, he needs time. Oh my god. That's, uh, he's at least doing some counter damage. So, Lurkers here are, are two of the free trade. He's at those. Oh my god, at those stream bases. We have Roaches here counter attacking as well. well so many mineral lines under threat. Comes the detection. Eba finally getting cleaned up, but he's getting so much done. Ten workers go down. Eba actually taking an economic lead. But Demi has a supply. Demi has how many ultras? Eleven! <laughs> Eleven ultras for Demi. Parabomb connects. Transfuse. Yeah. We do transfuse, but Demi is spread thin. Demi, he may have mass expanded, but his bases are so spread out that he just can barely defend. 14 roaches in total. Good Sim City. No, the lurkers, they get caught out. Lurkers are caught out. Two of them go down. One escapes. But Eba is turtling. He takes a new base. His economy is good enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Changelings go down. And here we go. Demi dives in. How good are the blinding clouds? And so far, they cover almost every lurker. They have to reposition. Good movement here out of Eva, pulling back. More blinding clouds all over the place, but Eva, good kiting. And he comes forward here with the lurkers. Base will fall. It's an expensive trade for Demi. Eva did lose the hatchery, but you can see Demi pretty close in army supply now. He did lose. Oh, Demi lost every one of his Vipers. He has to rebuild from scratch. Demi still has a better economy, though. The goal base putting in a lot of work. Coming in clutch. That one we're still going him. <laughs> Still going a ham here over on the left hand side. Keep it coming in for some harass. There is detection though, so yeah, Debbie's not too far behind. He should be able to keep up. One lurker out of range of the sword. Oh, we come in too close. Yeah, a little bit too close there. Lurker is going to go down. But towards the top. <laughs> We're getting some drones. Oh, Eva, he hasn't seen the right hand side. He doesn't know. Pretty important mining base here for Demi, but Eva, he hasn't scouted. Otherwise, he 100% would have gone for this base. As Eva is just re establishing himself, turtling up. God, just mass harassing here. Getting 11 drones. Eva doing surprisingly well. And you can see that he's getting ready here to receive another attack. With all his SimCity spores, Eva chambers. Now, unfortunately, this means that he can't quite do much about these fringe bases of Demi. At least on the right-hand side. So, Eva, he's stuck at home, just turtling. And I love this out of Demi. He's not resting on his laurels. We have plus three air attack on the way. And Broodlords, and Broodlords, they are the day on the coffin. There's very limited anti-air. What can be done about the Broodlords? Not much. Not too much. The armies are going to be repositioning. They'll be moving out on the right-hand side. 
More Broodlords are on the way, and Eva doesn't know. He doesn't know that there are Broodlords. He doesn't know that he needs more anti-air. Specifically, more Vipers would help. Just to basically abduct the Broodlords within range of these spores. The Lurker Den. No! Lurker Den is barely not going to go down. Oh, my God. The Ling Run might did not get a kill. Clutch hold. Roach counterattack getting more drones, and we have not revealed the, ro the Broodlords. Not yet. Eva still does not know. I mean, last time will be interesting. Uh, Demi has lost 326 links, <laughs> 28 ultras, 12 vipers. So overall, we can see here that Eva has been more efficient with his trades. Um, he has been more efficient, but Demi is still mining more. And Eva finally sees the base. He just tried to expand. Now he knows that Demi has every other hatchery on the map. How many droids have gone down? 52. Two workers. When it comes to gas, pretty even trades. Um, Demi losing slightly more gas, but only slightly. Losing far more minerals. But again, what matters is the economy. The economic situation here for Demi is just insanely good. And over time, Demi should be able to build up this bank, trade, remax, and trade again. Hydras are pushing, but the ultras are not too far behind. Yeah, Eva's gonna get the hell out of here. Up. Oh. As he does pull back. Lurkers are repositioning. We need to. As Demi gets ready to push in. <laughs> the burrowed. The burrowed hydras. Yeah, the Broodlord count is getting higher and higher. So again, the problem here for Eba is um, Hydra Lurker Viper is like the late game composition you want. Broodlords are, well, they can be superior as long as they don't get abducted. There are the abductions. One Broodlord going to be going down. The Blinding Clouds, they cover the Hydras, and the Broodlords are pushing through. The Ultras, they have a hard time. Can we yoink? We can. We get one. One Broodlord does go down. The Eba chases. Now again, a lot of these, a lot of these fights are going to come down to the spellcasters. Are going to come down to the vipers. We have five vipers, four Eba, only two for Demi. You see Eba just pushing on forward. Good yoink. Gets a viper. Eba just going to be pushing on ever closer. He has maxed out. Doesn't have a bank, but he's maxed. Looks like Eba, he has broken the space. And now he can take it as his own. Take the space as his own. How many Vipers do we have now? We have six. Six Vipers here for Demi. They're gathering up energy back at home. Again, it's going to be all about the Vipers. Demi and Eba. Hatchery is being taken. Demi is mining out from the goal base. I would love to see Demi throw away these these mutas. Like they've served their purpose. So not that important anymore. And here we go. We have plus two carapace on the way. The fact that Eba has taken another base it is a pretty crucial moment here. As Demi, he's just amassing his army, waiting to push in. Here we go. 
We are going for it. How many lurkers? 17 lurkers. Lightning clouds are thrown down. Ah, but the ultras, they're gonna melt big lightning clouds on the army though. The ultras are getting on top of the lurkers. Down to 11. The Brulors do back up. Bearing in mind that none of the Brulors did fall. The Hydras are keep pushing. We get one Brood Lord. Three Brulors in total. And now eBay is going for a big counter attack. I do love this. This does force Demi to react and respond. His Brood is not in position. And GG is going to get called as Demi gets caught out. He had a bank, but he could not deal with that army. And Eba will take the series 3-1, to one, becoming this week's Sparkling Tuna Cup champion. GG. Oh, my God. <laughs> GG, well played. I do think that Demi was over-investing into those Ultras. We saw that the Ultras, they were having a really hard time really gaining value. And this is the power of Golden Aura. Because the rush distance by ground is so short, you could see that Eva's counterattack took a couple of seconds. It didn't take too long at all for him to move across the map. And the Brulers, because they're so slow, they were caught out of position. They weren't killed, but they couldn't keep up. They couldn't keep up, which meant that Eba, he could kill a base, and then another base, and then another base. And what was important is the maneuverability, the mobility here of Eba's army oh, was able to outposition and slow and steady wins the race. You know, just a very, very defensive style there out of Eba. I say defensive. Mate, I was impressed by the fact that even though Demi was mining from every single base on the map, Eba, he was harassing so well. Like, Roaches at the third. Um, we had Lurkers at the fringe bases. Bottom left, top right as well. Uh, Demi, he got away with a base that was mining and was not scouted, but didn't even matter. Did not even matter. Eba was just all over the map, all over the place. GG, well played. Eba doesn't drop a single game here in the finals. Uh, Demi started with a 1-0 lead, but Eba takes it all the way. GG, well played. Oh. <laughs> GG, baby, GG. I'm messaging Eba. <laughs> he was telling me. He was like, I was so dead. <laughs> Eva, he was like, mate, how did I win that game? It was over, Bobby. It was over. Giga dead, Bobby. Giga dead. Uh, the comeback was real. Oh, my God. GG, well played, and yeah, even even he was telling me that he didn't believe. He didn't believe, Papi. <laughs> oh, did not believe, but yeah, was just all over it. Did have the better army control in the end. I what um I feel like a really pivotal moment actually, if you remember, was when Eva was defending his fifth base. It was his fifth base on the low ground where uh where Eva was able to avoid the blinding clouds and able to kite back with his lurkers um so well trading so well against the ultras and yeah gg well played evil was able to persevere and able to win it in the end congratulations and he is going to be our sparkling tuna cup champion gg well played a bit of a shorter spot sparkling tuna cup this week uh, again it was a smaller bracket overall it was a smaller bracket in the end But uh, it was a shorter bracket, but a sweet one, a beautiful one here. We had Demi, Eba, shout out to Rostock, Mino VK, Spiffy B, and Oriana for all being a part of this. GG. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to be back here in two weeks. Uh, for those wondering, this is a bi weekly tournament open to all regions, bringing everyone together. And, you know, we have been on a bit of a hiatus because of ESL Masters, but now that, of course, the playoff bracket of ESL Master is, is wrapping up. Now that we're done with the B stream, we can now focus on our own tournaments again, and hopefully we can we can bring our players back uh, or bring our regulars back um, week after week. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, we're going to be back soon. Soon TM. We're going to be back in 45 minutes. We don't have much time at all. <laughs> 
he was messaging. He's like, I, I'm shocked that I was able to make it to the hive, to be honest. Like, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Ah, it's the Eva. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be back in 45 minutes with World Team League. WTL is going to be coming up next year on the channel. Um, so stay tuned for that in 45 minutes. Um, until then, though, enjoy another StarCraft streamer out there. We're going to be giving another, another streamer a raid. Not too sure who, as we quickly check the directory um, we'll give them a chance we're gonna be, i'm gonna be going on a short break getting a quick bite to eat and then we're gonna be back with wtl oh so yeah enjoy enjoy you better be back here in 45 minutes <laughs> for some more stock after you are if you are unsatiated the downside tonight is that wtl is going to be overlapping with esl masters they are going to be overlapping with each other so multi twitch it up you know open up a couple of tabs open up a couple of different monitors and uh yeah we got you covered with plenty of stock after tonight um we missed out on wtl yesterday because i was a little bit too tired i'm a little bit tired now at the moment as well i'm gonna go and uh try and get some coffee and splash myself awake but i will be here for wtl do not worry do not fret um so yeah gonna be going in a short break when we return more StarCraft. The stream will be going down. At, sorry, I should say. The stream is going to be going down. And we'll be back in like half an hour. Half an hour, probably. Otherwise, you can support us on Patreon or Matcharina. Exclamation mark commands. Exclamation mark socials in the chat to follow us. And we'll see you guys next time. Big shout out to Eba. Big shout out to everyone that participated. Congra congratulations once again to Eba. For, is this his first win? Uh, Hold up. Este Eba. The young blood himself. Let me just double check here. Has he won one of these before? Um, Bjorn Art. Never mind. This is his very first win. Congratulations. Congratulations to Eva. And we'll see you guys next time here for some more Sparkling Tunic Cup. Again, we'll see you guys in 45 minutes for WTL. Until then, hasta luego. Bye. Bye. Hasta luego.